sound, please. Camera speed. Marker. <laughs> As far as you know it, it's lessons from the dirt. And now here's the dirtiest guy to ever testify before Congress. And that's saying something. Your host, Mike Rowe. Thank you, Chuck. <coughs> Hello again. Thank you, Matt, for whatever that was. And thank you <laughs> for watching uh, my favorite fake show of all time. I don't know why I'm holding a wrench. It was on the table. Um, today, uh, we're talking about the people on the poster. The people. In a world filled with people like him and me and her and her and me again and the machine and me again and that guy and this guy. Not everyone can be on the poster, but he can. The people on the poster. This whole campaign between me and Caterpillar has kind of come down to a couple of images. That's kind of what we're banking on in our ongoing quest to change the way the country feels about work. And we couldn't have done it without these people. And uh, how we found them was a pure stroke of luck. One of them is still with us right now. His name's Tony Becker, and he's gonna come in and sit next to me even as we speak. How are you, buddy? Uh. I don't know, Mike, I finally arrived. <laughs> Congratulations. I turned into a character actor. Your ship has come in. Uh, Tony, you know, like like everything about this campaign is uh, is here through some weird mix of uh, accident and uh, serendipity. We we wanted him here because he owned a car we were using in a commercial that we shot yesterday, right? Yeah, my dad's '66 Mustang convertible. Nice. So we were doing this quick little 30 second spot, uh, sort of in defense of mechanics. Uh, Tony's not only a working actor for something like the last 40 years. Yeah. And yet, fundamentally, but when someone says, "What do you do?" What's your answer? The answer is always say I'm a builder. Tony here had the right car. Tony shows up and we realize, I'm looking at him going, man, what? I know you. I know you. <laughs> well, the problem with that is I'm going, gosh, did he see me in a show or did I do his roof? <laughs> so that was the, I, don't, I never know if I've hung some cabinets at someone's house or they actually saw me on something. Uh, as an actor, you've certainly paid your dues. Tour of duty. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of them. I mean, let's go back to Little House on the Prairie and the like Waltons. Like the Waltons? I was in the Mous Mouseketeer Club. You were in a Mouseketeer Club? I was a motorcycle rider, though, so it was very cool. You're me and Kim Richards. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a while. Yeah. In that thing, being a little kid, I worked with all the old cowboys. And it was Jack Elam, when I was nine years old, for some reason, looks at me and says, gotta have a second job, kid. I probably blew a line or something, who right. knows? But it always stuck with me. Yeah. You gotta have, you gotta have something to lean on. Yeah. And um, I say I'm a builder, that's what I do. But I love acting and I, I have a fierce uh, respect and um, protective kind of feeling for Hollywood and the crew. My dad was on a crew for 47 years. I mean, it was a, it was a riot, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out this shoot the other day and we have in our head, we want to recreate this old poster I saw from the 70s. And look at me, take it, take it, take it. That's good. And the guy who looked right for the part turns out to be a tradesman and an actor and somebody who knew, who just got it right away. So, you know, it's it's cool that you're on here, and I hope you don't mind being a oh, true character. You're actor. Kidding. I, I know, I love it, and my family's gonna really love it. I've come home looking like that. What you are portraying on this poster is is uh, is the epitome of the problem in terms of the stereotype and the way uh -huh. the way I've seen. I mean, I know a lot of builders, I know a lot of roofers, I know a lot of carpenters, I know a lot of skilled tradesmen, yeah. and they've all told me over the years that they can tell the way, just the way people look at them and act around them. There's just a disconnect. When I was fortunate enough to work in, on tour duty, I had gone to the bank, and someone I heard in the bank, I heard them whisper, hey, that's the guy on that show. They seemed to have a lot of respect for what I was doing. That felt pretty good, I thought that was nice. Months later, I'm tearing a roof off. Big roofing trucks outside, I run in, it's 105 degrees, I go to cash this little check, and I hear a woman say, oh, he should be ashamed of himself walking in here looking like that. Yeah. And I remember thinking, wow, I deserve a lot more respect for what I did today yeah. than all that other stuff. There are times where it's great, you're outdoors, you're your own boss, yeah. you're working with your buddies, it's good. But it's tough, 
it's tough work. Well, I'll tell you something else. I mean, I've, I've literally, my life depended on guys like you for the last nine years on job sites. You know, I'm a fish out of water, you know, almost every day. And the other day, we were, we were trying to get this shot. Maybe we can put it on the screen through some, you know, magic of TV here. But I was in my cap and gown, as I am in, uh, in this particular version. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to climb a telephone pole, you know, to sort of create the metaphor that, you know, all the education in the world, you know, you still have no business going where your skills won't yeah. take you. And I needed to, you know, get on the pole. And to do that, I needed a ladder in the back of a pickup. What could possibly go wrong. And to do that, I need somebody with a pickup who I trust to hold the ladder. To make a long story short, <laughs> it was your pickup and, and your ladder. And so, not for nothing, but when I, you know, you're up 30 feet it's, in the air. That was something. It was. I mean, looking around, I'm like, oh, okay, no, Tony's good. He's holding the ladder. It's his truck. I'm not going to fall. So thanks for not letting me fall. Although I did notice you were kind of looking up my, uh, my gown here. It was, it was embarrassing. And it was, I saw you catch me. It's terrible. Super awkward. You're not um, Scottish. That's <laughs> great. No, I'm not Scottish. Yeah. It's, um, it just reminded me of an old joke. What is the old joke? You know, you have a little Scottish in you. <laughs> Would you like some? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Becker. Tony Matt. Becker. Very much. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. And let's go. Yes, let's do it. Wow.